John, what's your thoughts on that result and performance? I thought it was a brilliant, outstanding performance. Um, the work rate, application, quality um, was there playing to see. We obviously changed the shape again. Um, we changed that Wednesday and we just felt, you know, just fitted the boys at this moment in time. And, and it, we've worked ever so hard on it yesterday, um, knowing that there was close to 30,000 to them. We had to get our fans going because when the fans are coming out in numbers, we can't be, you know, dozy and docile. So we, we've set up a, a, a particular type of press to, to get the fans behind us. And from minute one, they were there. They, from minute one, they were there. And, you know, the, the, you know, the occasion with the flags flying round and the noise, that's what the boys have, have, have thrived on, really. You know, they could have went under after what happened Wednesday, but credit to the boys, you know, they've, they've stood up there and, and actually give our fans a, a really good performance. Yeah, you spoke before the match about embracing the occasion rather yeah. than feeling it. And would you say the lads did that? A hundred percent. Yeah, I really do. Um, just that little slot in the second half of that 10 minutes where we just lost a little bit of focus and a little bit loose. But then we thought we got hold of the game again and, you know, we were forcing the issue corners and, you know, final thirds end. So he's just lacking that little bit of quality at the end. Um, but you can't fault the boys for the, for the effort and the application. And also, you know, Sunderland's are on an unbelievable run of form. Um, and it showed you, you know, in a way, we, we run over them a little bit today. You know, with the high press, the forward running, quality in possession. Um, so, no, it was a really good... Only disappointing thing is we haven't come away with the three points. Yeah. Well, that tells the story, doesn't it, if, yeah. you, if you're disappointed with a draw? It is, yeah. We, we felt a little bit like that last week with Wigan. Um, we, we felt we've put in, you know, really two really good performances. We could have nicked it last week at Wigan. Um, we felt we've done more than enough today to win the game. And let's not forget, these are tough, tough fixtures, by the way. You know, it's, you know, Charlton, after 20 minutes, we were nowhere near good enough. Um, you know, Premier League, ex-Premier League team, Wigan, we've gone up there, we've put in a really good shot could have won it at the end and today we've added on to that as well so again take the obviously the disappointment going out with the FA Cup or you think them three league games um, but where we've come from against top top teams in this division um, the boys are in a great place and the new the new gaffer here as well gave that little bit of bounce there's no question of that he's given that little bit of bounce addressing the guys before the match um, so it gives him a lot you know plenty of food uh, to think about You've said in this period, John, it's not about you, it's about the team, but how much did you enjoy on this occasion and a home match in front of nearly 30,000? It's an 30, unbelievable 000. occasion. I mean, I'm coming out and the noise and the flags and the fans, you know, if you don't want to play in this, you know, I'm getting told the last time was when we were in the Premier League, there was that, that full as such uh, for the Nipswich game. You've got to embrace it. You know, you've got to step onto the pitch and embrace it because the fans are here to stay. The fans are showing, you know, in, coming out in their numbers, and we're hoping we can add more performances like that. And um, when the new gaffer comes in to turn that, then a couple of draws into wins. And I think once we get that win on the boards, um, we'll, we'll be flying. There's no question of that because the, the guys are disappointed in there. They're really disappointed knowing, you know, in the last two league games we should be coming away with at least four points. We haven't, but. That's a good thing because you know there's still you know a little bit to build on. Fantastic to see Wes Burns out there. What did you make of his performance, John? He's been. He told me last week he wanted to play last week, and we've had to pull the reins on him. You know, speaking with By, um, just a fit boy, an honest boy, wants to play. Uh, just a joy to to work with in a way. You know that type of player continually, you know, up and down the line brings quality into the play that. You know, Paul was missing uh, just before he'd left. Um, it just proves, in a way, you know what a what a good player he is for the club. Um, and it's nice now to see that he's fit and ready to go. Nors amongst the goals again. You've already said that's what he told you. He'll score goals. Does. It's what he does. It's listen. All I know about James Nors is off, um, on the pitch. Don't know anything off the pitch. I just know he scores goals. The ball gets in around the box. Just it's no coincidence. He goes off a little bit, and we just falter a little bit in that box. That little bit of a threat. Um, so no, the boy scores goals. It, it, it shows on a CV. Finally, John, again, I know you've said it's about the team. How much have you enjoyed this period working with uh, the coaches that you've brought in as well? I, I listen, again, it's not about me. My, I keep saying this, Mark and his team um, needed help. I've come in and have helped and have, you know, it's gone on for the two weeks for, for them to get the right choice in a manager. And that's all I needed to do was to get, you know, the chairman and Mark and his team, that little bit of time for them to take the time to get the right guy in. And that's actually worked. You know, we, we feel really confident with the new gaffer coming in. Um, as I say, he's already addressed the boys. I've spoke to him a couple of times on the phone as well. So it's all positive. So I wasn't, I said it before, there's no way I was going to turn this down. Um, the guys needed me, the club needed me, and I've stepped in. And hopefully, you know, these couple of draws, you never know, they might get us in the playoffs. That's how I look at it. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thanks, guys.